Hello everybody. Today I would like to talk about destined to help. If you are somebody destined to help other people, it is very hard to say I will never help. Uh, what I would like to talk to you today is a real life situation. One day I went into a bank when I was still in my country. I withdrew the money which I wanted. When I went outside, I found a handbag full of money and it was a lump sum, a very big amount. And then I took that handbag. I knew that somebody had forgotten the bag. So I took the bag and went back into the banking hall wanting to give the tailors to keep that bag. But I found them closing down and they said, no, 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 no. We are no longer taking in customers again. Then what I had to do was to take that handbag with me to my home. I was so much confused. How can I get a lot of money without working for it? And I put myself in the shoes of that person who had lost a lot of money like that. Then I started inquiring. I was working in a public uh, place. So I asked some people if they knew somebody with a certain type of a handbag. You know, sometimes we women, we are identified by the colors of our handbags. Then I told many, many people that I picked a lot of money. I picked money in such, such a place. Then before the person came to claim the money, I took the money to the bank the other day and banked it into my account. I didn't want to keep it at my home because I knew that, you know, money you can misuse. So I banked the money and came back. After some few weeks, somebody appeared and claimed to be the owner of the money and she told me exactly the same amount which was in the bag and the car of the bag and everything which was in the bag so i told her that yes i was the one who picked the money surprisingly the story changed and turned so bad for me she claimed that i have stolen her money I told her that no, I still have the money in my account. But the problem was there was no transport from my place of work to, t to the town where I could get the money. So the person caused a very embarrassing scene. I was a public figure and she shouted, she screamed and called me names. This one is a thief. She took my money, blah, blah, blah. And all people come to watch and they were talking to me, why can't you just give her back her money? I tried to tell the side of my story, but nobody believed me. So the only thing was to ask from my employer to go and withdraw the money. But the problem was there was no transport that day. The only transport we had was going in the morning and coming at night. So once the bus is gone in the morning, there was no any other bus or any other vehicles to, to go the vehicles to go there. So I told her I tried to calm her down to be patient so that I can go tomorrow and withdraw her money. She refused. And to make matters worse. Even my employer refused to give me leave for the next day to go and pick the money. So it was a very difficult situation and confusing situation. So that people were asking me, why did you say that you picked the money? You could have just banked it and kept quiet. So sometimes in life, those people who do good, most in most cases, they don't get good things so it was a story and it became sour it continued to become sour 
until other people came up with an idea, can't you give her something to give that woman something in place of the money so that when I, I find time to withdraw the money, I will come and give her. So I was owning some goats. So she picked the three goats and her money was equivalent only to two goats. She took the goats and went away and told me, when you have uh, withdrawn my money, please bring my money to such such a place. So during the weekend, I managed to go and withdrew her money and gave her back the money intact. But surprisingly, the three courts were no more. So in life, if you are destined to help, you will find yourself in situations, very hard situations sometimes, and sometimes you don't know what to do. So I just let it go. And she owned the gods, she also took the money. And it was over, up to today. And whenever I see somebody in a difficult situation, I help. And I forget about what happened the other day. So if you are destined to help other people, don't do it for people. It's God's case. Do it because you are helping. And never worry about people thanking you or getting anything. Help for no gain. God will see you. Thank you for listening.